How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to a brand new episode of, well, reviews. <laughs> Nothing too interesting, but today we are playing Batman Arkham Asylum. So I need to make sure I've got that right, because there's definitely a few Arkham games. Um, and yeah, we're just going to go through the review. We're going to go through the same process that we did in the old, well, the other Isaac video. So we're going to go through ten different points I say about the game so yeah we're just going to jump straight into it the first topic is value for money I rated this game a 8.5 just because it's still quite a bit pricey for its quite old age I know it's a more of a triple A game because it was done by a big studio and you could get it probably quite cheap. I'm not sure if you can get much on the PS3 anymore. Or Xbox 360, I think it was. <laughs> and yeah, the game, they have remastered it for the PS4. So you can get it on your PS5 if you really wanted to. Obviously, I'm playing the remastered version. Just because I don't want to try and find the PS3 <laughs> and get that set up. I don't know how good the quality is going to be, so this is just better for your viewing experience as well. Next one, we're going to go gameplay. I thought this one I'm going to hate, I'm going to rate a bit higher. But going back to the actual game, replaying it again, I'm actually playing it at the moment just so I can get a feel of the game and actually have something to talk more about. But yeah, I rated it 8. It's a bit more tanky than I thought. I don't know if it's like this in the more later games. But yeah, I didn't I didn't really like the feel of it too much. Obviously, it was the first time you did the mechanic and back in the day this was quite revolutionary. But nowadays I say it's a bit tanky, so I rated it an 8. <clears throat> Next one, story. This was potentially a 10. Just because it got the Batman feel and it actually felt a lot like a Batman franchise thing. But I gave it a 9.5 just because. Yeah, the end kind of ruined it. And. Yeah, this is. I'm not going to go too much into the ending. Might show a clip in, but I'm not going to try and spoil it too much. But yeah, the, I say the end ruined it. Just for the character development, it, it did lead to like better games in the series. And yeah, the next topic will be graphics. How well were the graphics? I've rated it a 8.5. I know it looks a bit nicer on the PS4 version. But even on the PS3 version, it didn't look too great. And I don't think that could have the graphics. I think could have the area that had it had a lot of greys and a lot of areas just blended into each other I think you could say that for like most of the series but yeah I'd feel like they missed out on a lot of colours <laughs> and all that graphics uh, replayability I rate it a 7 just because it's not really a game you go back and recomplete Maybe later on in life when you wanted to feel an old Batman game. Well, it's old now. Like <laughs> when we talk about old Batman game when this came out, it was it was a totally different story. Like this was a good Batman game, so we can't complain too much. <laughs> I mean, there might have been a couple of good ones on like the NES or the Sega. I don't know. Maybe I can't remember. So yeah, I'll rate that a 7. Next one we'll be moving on to is music. I rated this a 10. I think the soundtrack works really well, especially in the Batman franchise. I, I didn't really get, I didn't really feel like I got sick of many songs, so I have rated this one quite highly. Next one is recommended score, would pretty much the score what I give it, personally. And I rated this a 9, like I think it's a phenomenal game. Definitely... Worth trying now, I say. But I wouldn't recommend it too highly to people who don't really play console games, though. <laughs> or PC games. 
like the mobile game franchise is a big franchise. Also, and yeah, we're going on to length of game. I rated it an eight because the story's not too long. But if you really want to go dive into the content and collect all the Riddler trophies and do all the side things, then yeah, it could be rated a bit higher. But I've kept it at an eight. Just because you probably get bored by the time, like it gets very repetitive, nearly end game. So yeah, you probably get bored at that. I'm going to try and re-complete the game. I'm still, I'm still playing it currently while I'm doing this review. I'm just trying to get out as fast as possible. And like I said, I didn't want to spoil the game too much, so I don't want to really play it to the very end. Um, game complexity, I give it an 8. Just because the fighting mechanic and the stealth mechanic could be quite hard to actually pick up. Like, pick up and play. Not like how technically advanced is the game. It's just like how complex it is for like people who don't know. <laughs> but yeah, I say it, it's quite tanky. You will get used to it eventually. I say start off on an easier difficulty. I started off on quite a high difficulty, but that's only because I played the whole series. And I thought I would like a little bit of a challenge. But that's all the scores, all 10 of them. And then we add them all together and we got a 8.65 out of 10. Not bad, it just missed the mark of a 9 out of 10, so it don't really get the seal. But, a still highly rated game, like, it's still very fun. Especially if you ain't played it before, going in there blindfolded is a much better experience also. And, yeah, this is the end of the episode. Let me know what game you would like me to play next. I might continue with the Batman series, it depends how well this video does. And yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Good.